Welcome back to Comics and Pop Culture Shorts. Today, we'll take a brief look at the career of actor Jonathan Frid. If you would, you may tell her that it's Barnabas Collins. Frid is widely known for the role of vampire Barnabas Collins on the original gothic serial Dark Shadows, which ran from 1966 to 71. He also starred as Barnabas in the 1970 movie House of Dark Shadows. In 1967, Frid had made plans to move to the U.S. West Coast to pursue a career as an acting teacher when he won the role that ultimately made him a household name. As Frid explained on his website, he had barely entered his apartment as the phone call from his agent came informing him that he had won the role of Barnabas Collins. He agreed to accept it after being told it was a short-term one that would provide him with extra cash while he prepared to move. As the character's popularity soared, Frid scrapped those plans. After Dark Shadows ended in 1971, he returned to performing in live theater full-time with starring roles in the Broadway plays Murder in the Cathedral as Thomas Beckett and Wait Until Dark as Harry wrote. Frid had previously played the role of a psychiatrist on the CBS television soap opera As the World Turns. In 1973, Frid appeared in the TV movie The Devil's Daughter, starring Shelley Winters, and the following year starred in Oliver Stone's directorial debut, Seizure. I've met some of my mother's friends. They're into some cult, some devil worship or something. Barnabas Collins appeared as a mute butler. You are out of your mind. They're maniacs. Maybe they've staged all this to look like that, but they're maniacs just the same. Don't ask us who we are or where we come from. Our only purpose is death. <laughs> now one after the other. The rest of you will die. In 1978, he returned to Canada for a time and later returned to New York City in the early 1980s. Frid attended Dark Shadows conventions in New York in August 2007, Burbank, California, in July 2008, and Elizabeth, New Jersey, in August 2009. In 2010, he returned to the role of Barnabas for the first time in 39 years in a Dark Shadows audio drama, The Night Whispers. Along with former Dark Shadows castmates Lara Parker, David Selby, and Catherine Lee Scott, he spent three days at Pinewood Studios in June 2011 filming a cameo appearance as a guest in the happening scene for the 2012 Tim Burton Dark Shadows film, which became his final film appearance. Unlike some other soap operas of its era, the episodes of Dark Shadows all were preserved in some format, although one episode exists only as an audio recording and several color episodes only have black and white kinescopes available. The character of Quentin Collins was created at the request of Jonathan Frid, who asked that a second villain be brought in to lighten his workload. For more than a year and a half, the characters of this show used almost every possible phrase to refer to Barnabas Collins, he's not alive, he's one of the undead, he walks at night, but he ain't alive. It wasn't until the 410th episode that the word vampire was used on the show. Many episodes of Dark Shadows exist only on black and white kinescopes as the master tapes of those episodes are lost. This is especially noticeable among the color episodes. The only episode where this was not possible was episode 1219, which aired in 1971. Consequently of the series 1225 episodes, this is the only edition with no surviving video, though a fan-recorded audio does miraculously survive. ABC, at that point, had ceased making kinescopes of all of their programs, except news programs, in the fall of 1970. 1219 is Dark Shadow's lost episode, if you don't count all the other ones. It's actually kind of a miracle that only a handful of the more than 1200 master videotapes were misplaced considering the general slapdash nature of almost everything involved in the production of the series. Luckily, a fan named Wendy Josette Kernaghan had a collection of audio tapes that she'd taped off the TV when the show was being broadcast, so MPI, with some unspecified assistance by a mysterious figure in a lab coat, was able to reconstruct the episode by combining Kernaghan's audio track with still pictures from surrounding episodes. They could use the last scene from 1218 as the first scene of 1219, and the same on the other end, using the first scene of 1220. To make the soundtrack sections easier to understand, they also recorded host segments with Laura Parker describing the events of each act. The one piece of audio that was partially missing was the opening narration by Keith Prentice, so Parker recorded that audio as well. That's the story of Dark Shadow's missing episode and how a fan was able to help the show's producers to reconstruct the episode. For more vampire action, please check the links below for the Carl Vincent Vampire Hunter franchise. Thanks for watching and if you like what you saw please click the like button, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to stay informed of upcoming shows. Until next time, this is Andrew Wynn for Kevin Gibbon saying live long and prosper.
May the force be with you and keep reaching for the stars.